Politico's Leah Nyland now. Leah wrote an article titled, Dems are going after big tech. It'll affect almost everything you do online. Leah, thank you. What specifically could change in our everyday lives if this legislation passes? Well, these bills are intended to open up competition in the online sphere. So the companies would have to build tools that would make it really easy for you to switch platforms. So if you stop liking Facebook, you might be able to move all of your information and photos and all your friends over to a new platform. The fact, the fact that they don't mention names, I mean, it's sort of an aside. I mean, there, there are so few that qualify. And I wonder if those big tech companies are fighting back. Oh, they definitely are. There's been a lot of lobbying over the past two weeks against these bills. All of the tech companies now have, except for Microsoft, Microsoft says it's not quite sure it has a problem with it, but it doesn't think it necessarily applies to it. The other companies are not big fans. They've been uh, lobbying against it along with a lot of their trade groups. You know, Congress doesn't seem to be able to agree on much of anything these days. Is, do you have a sense for how likely it is that these bills might pass? Uh, it's interesting because this, these bills have a lot of support from both sides of the aisle. There are a number of people on the Republican side who have concerns about big tech and actually do support these bills. There are also a lot of progressive Democrats that support this. So you have a sort of unlikely coalition of um, sort of Trump Republicans and progressive Democrats coming together, and that could actually pass these bills. Yet pressure from both sides often causes movement in the middle, you know? That's definitely true. Some of the more moderate folks are the ones who have concerns about these bills. So if I go to Facebook or I go to Amazon, something is going to be different as a result of these? Me, for me as a yeah, user? One thing, one thing that they are trying to get rid of is something called self-preferencing. You know how like whenever you search on Amazon, the thing that comes up is Amazon's own product? Sure. Well, they don't want that to be happening anymore. They want the best product to be the one there. So you might no longer see Amazon basics at the top of your search. When you do a Google search, you might not necessarily see YouTube or Google Map, Maps or a lot of Google products showing up right at the top. That would open things up. Hey, thanks a lot, yeah. Leah. Appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.